right guys so this is the look that I did today it's more of a natural um, everyday wear you can wear it to interviews just going out or running errands or anything like that super quick super easy took me like 20 minutes to do um, I hope you enjoy it and let me know what you would like to see below so first I'm going to start off by prepping my face with the Urban Decay Basics Vitamin Infused Complexion Prep Spray. My Benefit Hello Flawless Auction Well Foundation and this is in the shade Ivory. And I just like to stipple this all over my face. Always blend down your jawline and into your hairline. Naked Skin Concealer. This is in the shade Light Warm. I'm just gonna use this to highlight my face as well as conceal. And then just set that all over the face. And with this, I also like to press. That way it keeps all of my liquid, which is my concealer and my foundation, in place. Rather than swiping, because that's going to move the product. This is Bahama Mama Bronzer by The Bomb Cosmetics. This is a more natural contour, rather than the cream contour and then a powder over it and it's easy for the everyday wear. So I like to put it in the hollows of my cheek and if you do this, you can kind of see where you need to place it. So you can see this cheekbone is more structured compared to this one. Also just take a little bit and put it down the side of my nose. And this, I'm not really contouring. I am just adding back the shadows. Okay, I said I wasn't contouring, but look at this. Okay, this, I'm just gonna show you because um, you can like overdo the nose contour and this is not what you want it to look like, okay? You want it to be more subtle. I'm gonna go ahead and do my blush and I'm using the MAC Melba. And you'll find the more you, that you apply blush and bronzer that um, there's only certain ways that you apply it that will really complement your features and your face shape. So I'm just applying this to the top of my cheekbones, the tip of my nose. And I like to kind of do like a C formation on my cheekbones because I feel like that flatters my face shape the most. First I'm going to prime my eyelids with the MAC Soft, Over Soft Ochre Paint Pot. And I've never used this before so I'm super excited. By Urban Decay Gwen Stefani palette. I I'm just going to use my finger for this. Okay, so kind of like a first impression. Super creamy. Mm -hmm. 
very creamy. I like that. And this does have a color to it, um, so it's going to help to cancel out any blood veins or any discoloration or anything on your eyelid. And I set my eye because where you put that base down, it's going to be really sticky and everything is just going to kind of attach to it. So. You can use a face powder for this. You don't even have to use like an eyeshadow. The zone color, it's just a good warm to neutral brown. I'm gonna put that into the crease. So on my eyes, you can really see my crease. Um, if you have hooded eyes, you're gonna want to take it a little bit above. So while you're applying your eyeshadow, you want to look up. That way you can see where you're placing it and if you're gonna be able to see it with your eyes open. And just taking this onto the outer part of the eye, mainly, and then just kind of softly blending it into the crease. But not all the way into the inner corner. You always want to blend out your eyeshadows and then apply more um, if you feel like you want it a little darker, but never put just a whole lot at one time because it's going to be harder for you to blend out. So then I'm just taking a really clean brush and just blending everything out so there's no harsh lines. And when you're doing a smoky eye, you don't want there to be any harsh lines because hence the word smoky. Uh, so you want it to be really soft and smooth and blended. Skimp right here. It has a little bit of a shimmer to it, but it's not too bold. It's just really light. I'm just going to pat that on. From the inner corner, meeting up all the way to that dark brown. And I always like to tap off the extra from my brush. That way I don't get a whole lot of fallout or pack on too much color. I'm going to go back in with that zone color just on this same linen brush. And just darken up the outer part because whenever I put that light shade, I got or I lost a little definition. So just lightly add a little more. And then just kind of blend them together into the crease. I'm going to take the stark color again that I set the lid with and set the bottom where we put that eyeshadow base then I'm going to use zone tap off the extra place this right at the lash line Angled liner brush. Where did I get that? I'm gonna use this angled liner brush by Makeup Geek, and I'm just gonna take. Um, okay, well here you have two options. Since this is a more daytime wearable for um, every day or for interviews or anything like that, um, you could use punk. Which is just like a brick red and it's more it would be more soft. Or you could use this black. And that's gonna give you more of like a that's gonna be more dramatic rather than the brown, but you could use either one, it's just whatever you prefer. So I'm gonna take the black and I'm just gonna get it on the tip of this brush and just line 
right up against the lash line. After I get that place, I'm just going to take this angler brush again and just kind of smoke it. That way it's more natural and it's not as harsh or sharp. And I don't have any extra product on this brush. And no matter what, whether you apply like this or if you do the wing, you want it thinner on the inner part and then thicker on the outer part. And I'm just going to go ahead and do the lower lash line as well. Taking that angled brush again with no extra product and then just kind of smoking it out. Benefit Their Real Tinted Lash Primer. This is in brown. So it's a brown lash primer rather than white so that you can wear it by itself. And I'm just trying this out with a different wand today. get mascara on your eyelid or anywhere like this leave it don't panic it will dry and then you can easily just flake it off with a q-tip I mean this wand is not applying this primer properly so you definitely want to use the one that comes with the primer that's you know actually in the tube roller lash like I said this is more for everyday so instead of applying faulties this is gonna help to give you the longer fuller thicker less clumpy lashes this primer comes out the day after Christmas so December the 26th so this is just benefit highbrow and I'm pretty sure it's the color of linen. And then I'm just going to take it and do my waterline. And that helps to make the eyes look more open and more awake. So I'm just using the 217 again in that first color. Or the color that we used on the lid. And just applying that right underneath the brow bone. So from the arch, kind of outwards. For brows, I'm going to stay more natural. I'm just going to use Benefit Gimme Brow in the shade Medium Deep. I like to rake off all of the extra. I'm gonna start right here. So in between the front and the arch of the brow, go towards the arch, and then come back down at the tail, and then brush up in the front with whatever is left over on the wand. So that just helps to define the brow, give more structure and more volume because it has gel fibers. So the fibers attach to the brows, make them look a little thicker and fuller. Um, as well as giving it color. So this is super quick and easy for every day. Lips I'm going to say more natural. This is the NYX Liquid Suede Lipsticks and this is the shade Soft Spoken. It's just a light nudie pink. If you want to darken this um, this look up, say you are more natural by daytime, but at nighttime you want to add a little darkness, just take that black shadow that you use for the eyeliner, pop it right onto the outer corner, and just blend it out very well.